Gideon did what the man of God said do. Uh, he went down and he dipped himself in the Jordan seven times. He did what the man of God said. In other words, he took a mud bath. He scooped up the mud and began to rub it on his body. And with the water he could find, he doused it off. And he did it seven times. Somebody shout seven times. Seven is the number of completion. And God told me to tell you in this next season, if you're going to get what God wants you to have, if you're going to get what God has shown you, it's going to take total and complete obedience. I wish you'd wave at somebody say, neighbor, obey God to the T. Obey him no matter who likes it and who does not. Obey him no matter who thinks you're crazy and who thinks you're sane. Obey him no matter what it costs you. Obey him no matter how it makes you look. And seven times he's washing himself. He's spreading mud over it. Taking water and dousing. Spreading mud. Taking water and rinsing. Muddying himself up and rinsing himself off. Thank you Holy Ghost. Seven times does a righteous man, a righteous man fall. And seven times does a righteous man rise again. I wish you'd touch yourself. Don't talk to nobody else and say self. All the rising and all the falling and all the rising and all the falling has been a part of God's plan to perfect me, to strengthen me, to empower me, to give me wisdom, to give me knowledge, to give me understanding. Shout yes, shout yes, shout yes. I'm clothed with this. The Bible says after the seventh time something happened, his flesh became that of a newborn baby. Now y'all might not understand that. It did not return to the state that it was before he contracted leprosy. It was better than it had been in a long time. Can I go higher? Don't y'all look at me straight. Don't think bad of me. But every once in a while, when I get stressed, when I get tense, when I get nutted up, I'll go to a spa. And when I go to the spa, they got something that's called a mineral mud bath. And they put mud all over your body. And they wrap you up in saran wrap. And while you're wrapping, the mud is drawing out all of the impurities. The mud is taking the bad energy and letting the good energy come in. The mud is causing you to be restored to vitality in your body, in your mind, and in your spirit. I came, I came, I came, I came to preach to somebody and tell you that your mud bath in 2021 is setting you up for your for your restoration in 2022. Who am I preaching to who had to go through mud, who had to go through hardship, who had to go through difficulty, who had to go through loss? Who am I talking to who had embarrassment in your life? Who am I talking to who it looked like your life was over and God had forsaken you? Well, God told me to tell you, welcome to your season of wholeness. You've gone through the humiliation, but now it's time for you to be whole. Wave down your rope. Tell somebody, welcome to wholeness. And God told me to prophesy to about 29 of y'all in here who will receive 
admitted that the worst is over and the best is yet to come. You dare come out of your comfort zone. You dare go through the embarrassment. You dare going through the hardship, the heartache, the heartbreak, and the loss. You dare endure the attacks of the enemy. You dare endure the rumors and innuendos, hints and allegations. You dare to continue to trust God and to keep going. When you didn't feel like it, God told me to announce in this house to everybody who will receive it. Somebody tell a neighbor better is on the way. Yes, it is. He's getting ready to restore, restore the years that you sowed in tears. He's getting ready to restore the joy of your salvation. He's getting ready to restore and renew your hope. He's getting ready to restore and renew your vision. He's getting ready to restore your God-ordained relationships. He's getting ready to turn everything around in your favor. You've been waiting. This is it. I dare somebody to lift your hand and receive full Restoration, restoration in your health, restoration in your wealth, restoration in every area of your life. Lift your hand, open your mouth, and shout, Lord, I receive restoration. Yes, I do. And the last thing I'll leave with you is in this season of restoration, it's not going to get back to how it was. It's going to be better than ever before. Throw your head back and shout better, shout better, shout better, shout better, shout better, shout better, shout better. I feel better in this house. I feel better in this house. I feel.